Moffitt needs you, Tampa Bay, and we know you're out there. So lace up your shoes and get ready to move for what matters. The 2020 Miles for Moffitt starts right now. and welcome to Miles for Moffitt 2020. We're so excited to be here. And yes, even though we can't be together in person, we feel your excitement and your support. Miles for Moffitt needs you, Tampa Bay. We know you're out there, you're lacing up your shoes, you're getting ready to show off your Miles for Moffitt swag. It's been a really unique year, as you know, but together as Miles for Moffitt, as a community, we are gonna take those challenges, turn them upside down and move for what matters. That's our theme for today, move for what matters. And what better words are there for what we're up to today, which is raising money for life-saving cancer research at Moffitt Cancer Center. I have a co-host this morning. Many of you are gonna recognize Joshua Rivera, a cancer survivor, longtime Miles for Moffitt participant, and a Moffitt team member who joins us every year as the MC of the event. Hey there, Joshua. Hi, Allison, thank you. I'm excited to be here. So excited to see you. Joshua, let's get moving with our activities for this morning and let's hear from Stephanie Watts, the Director of Corporate and Community Giving with the Moffitt Foundation and Dr. John Cleveland, the Center Director at Moffitt who leads all research at the Cancer Center. Thank you, Allison, and thank you both for being with us. Steph, let's start with you. Why is this event so important? Sure, so Miles for Moffitt is a community-wide movement. And what that means is that people across our area and across the country are coming together today to really make a difference in the fight against cancer. And whether that is going for a walk around your neighborhood with your friends and family, whether that is doing a 5K or a virtual Zumba class, everything that you do makes an impact. And we are so grateful for that because it really is funding life-saving cancer research here at Moffitt. How is this event different from other activities at Moffitt hosts? Miles for Moffitt provides critical research funding that is utilized to help maybe researchers that are newer in their career or just have a really big, new, bold idea. And unique to this year, our board members actually created a special initiative to show their support for the Moffitt team members and also for Tim Adams, who has led our organization through a really challenging and unique year. And just knowing that the world needs a lot of positivity in 2020, we've really had a lot of fun with this. I wanted to give a special shout out to Bill Brand and Ed Drosty for their creativity and for really running with this initiative. And I'd also like to thank the Couch Family Foundation uh, for their generous contribution of $50,000, as well as the incredible supporters that you see on the screen. The more money that we are able to put towards those research projects, the more that we can amplify their efforts through federal funding. So really, um, the efforts here today really have a huge impact um, for a long time to come. Dr. Cleveland. What does the support mean to your researchers? These monies for Miles for Moffitt are really fundamentally important for doing the research that we need to get grants. Um, they're also fundamentally important for generating data that we need for clinical trials that we can give to our patients. There's over 630 active clinical trials at Moffitt right now, and many of them are supported by you know, um, funds like Miles for Moffitt. So these pilot funds are, are actually essential for our operation. Um, they also are terrific in launching the careers of our junior faculty. We attract the very best and brightest young faculty to the Institute, and all of them are hitting it out of the park uh, by landing big grants from the National Cancer Institute. So this model works great. It's essential that we continue this support. Um, this is a, a train that's really got research rolling in, rolling here at Moffitt, and as the train grows, we'll be able to support more and more research and more and more clinical trials that can mean uh, new birthdays uh, for, our, for our patients. Have you seen this research make a difference? Sure. Um, so some of the disease areas where it's really made a difference actually is in, in prostate cancer, where we've you know, awarded grants uh, from Miles for Moffitt funds. And so insights into this uh, have led to new ideas for targeting 
bone metastatic prostate cancer that we didn't have before. And those area, those you know, insights are now you know poised for being pushed towards the clinic. And so there's there's lots of examples like that. Thank you so much, Stephanie and Dr. Cleveland. If finding the cure to cancer is important to you, we encourage you to make a gift of any amount, texting the information on the screen below. Now, Allison, not only do our participants raise funds for research, but our sponsors play a huge role in fundraising as well. And no doubt, Joshua, this has been a really challenging time to hold a virtual event and to raise money for an incredibly worthy cause. But our sponsors have really answered that call and they've helped to make this a very successful year. A big thank you to AutoNation, our 2020 presenting visionary sponsor. Dave Kaler is the Eastern Region President of AutoNation and a wonderful Moffitt advocate. He joins us now. Hey there, Dave, thank you for joining us. So tell us why AutoNation has continued to play such a really huge role in Miles for Moffitt over the years and why you're out moving for what matters this year. Well, thank you, Allison. It's good to see you. And uh, we are thrilled here at AutoNation to be to return for our eighth year at Miles for Moffitt. For us, it, it really has been a way to bring our associates and our customers together. And it, it really shows that we stand for more than just selling and servicing cars. We want to help the community that we live in. And we have uh, really rallied around this, this project over the last eight years. Thank you, Dave and AutoNation. Your continuous support as presenting visionary sponsor makes Miles for Moffitt possible. And thanks again to all of our 2020 Miles for Moffitt sponsors. The work that Moffitt does would not be possible without you and your support. And this year shows that Miles for Moffitt is more than just an event, but it's an important initiative for our entire community. Please join me in thanking our important sponsors. Our presenting visionary sponsor, AutoNation. Our champion sponsors, Amgen, Bay Area Advisors. Our changemaker sponsors, Outback Bowl, O'Neill Commercial Advisors. Our innovator sponsors. Our explorer sponsors. And our media sponsors. Thank you again to all of our sponsors for your generous support of Moffitt's mission. All right, Joshua, are you ready to get everyone watching right now? Get them up, get them moving. We need more energy going on out there. I'm ready, Allison. We have a very special guest and some very special kids who are leading us in our activity before we get out and move for what matters. Raymond from the Tampa Bay Rays is here. Hi, Raymond. Thank you, Raymond. If supporting cancer research and finding the cure to cancer is important to you, we would love for you to text the number at the bottom of your screen right now to give any amount to support life-saving cancer research at Moffitt. And now more than ever, Moffitt is committed to helping close the gap in healthcare disparities. Joshua joins us now with an important person who is vital to these efforts. Joshua. Thanks, Allison. We're joined now by Dr. Lee Green, who leads Diversity, Public Relations, and Strategic Communications for Moffitt. Dr. Green, talk to us about why Moffitt Cancer Center is so important to our local community and beyond. Thank you so much, Joshua. Let me, let me just start by saying that we are all so very fortunate to 
have uh, the Moffitt Cancer Center right in our backyard. To have one of the top cancer centers in the country right here in Tampa Bay is uh, just uh, incredible. Uh, Moffitt is just a great community partner where we support many other local organizations that are also doing incredible work in this community. So we're fortunate to have Moffitt uh, right here in our backyard. And Moffitt takes a special interest in reaching all members of the community about cancer because it really does affect everyone. Tell us about that. Yep, you are so correct. We do realize that cancer does unfortunately impact some communities harder than others. Uh, most of us have, had, heard, have heard of the term uh, cancer health disparities, which means that uh, there are certain populations that have a higher burden of cancer compared to others. And we're fortunate to have researchers who are doing studies that examine why we have those differences and developing interventions to address some of those issues as well. Uh, I am also very pleased with the work that we do in our community outreach. And Joshua, I'm sure you're familiar with much of that work where we have programs that are designed specifically to go into the community to address some of those needs. So prevention is a part of our mission. We know that prevention is the key. Uh, so I'm very, very proud of the work that we're doing to make sure that all of our community members know that Moffitt is a place that they can come to to get that high quality care. Well, thank you, Dr. Green, for talking with us about how important access to cancer care is for the entire community. Allison? That's absolutely right. If access to cancer treatment and combating healthcare disparities is important to you, text the number at the bottom of your screen to support cancer equity and healthcare disparities research. Now we come to a very heartfelt part of our program. It's the reason we are all here. We're raising money today for cancer research because research is bringing hope to thousands of patients and families each and every day through the Miles for Moffitt community. And one family, cancer dealt a double blow, striking a grandfather and his three-year-old granddaughter at the same time. Miles for Moffitt has meant something very special to them for the last six years. Let's take a look. Survival paying it forward, giving back, understanding what people do and what they've gone through. I used to work in New York City and 9-11-01, uh, I was uh, heading to work and it's like a, a war zone. There's dust everywhere. I, I feel the, the street shake. The World Trade Center just fell. All of a sudden in 2014, uh, early, I stopped feeling kind of funny, didn't feel right, couldn't speak right. <clears throat> I had a stuffiness in my nose, and that's when we found the cancer in my nasal cavity. My first reaction was like, I'm scared for my family. Since I had cancer too, like, I feel very happy that not everybody has to get it. But I also feel very proud because I'm donating to the people who have it because I just don't want families be, being sad and stuff. I really want people to be happy. She is like a magnet. People just come what? to her. The hair fairy told Cassie, oh, told me that if Cassie cuts all her hair off, she gets $100. <gasps> she, what you gonna buy? <laughs> Every point I went to, Cassie was there with me with my other granddaughter, Juliana. When I finally finished my radiation and rang the bell, they wanted to also ring the bell. So I held up Cassie and she rang the bell for me. I want to make people happy and I want, I want to show Moffat that I'm grateful because they helped my grandpa. I never say never. I move because I have to move because I'm the anchor of my family. And we're blessed to be survivors thus far. Thank you, Oren and Kathy, for sharing your story with us and inspiring all of us to move for you and Oren and Cassie, you are not alone. So many of you have shared your stories with us. We've received hundreds of videos and photos of grateful patients and families, as well as remembrances from those who are honoring their loved ones today. Take a look. I move so that my friends, family, and everyone around me can live free from fear 
of cancer and other health conditions. I move because I can. I move because I love it. I am moving because there's a lot of people that wish to be moving right now that cannot. I get to witness firsthand the impact that this event has on cancer prevention efforts. This is why I move for what matters. I move for my father and niece who are both in remission and I also move for those who are continuously fighting and those who have lost their battle to cancer. Our focus is on making sure that our daughter has a life free from fear of cancer. And we are certain that this year's Miles from Offit is going to be out of this world. I moved because I was given a second chance at life and I'm committed to raising funds for Moffitt's research. None of my survivor brothers or sisters should ever have to go through the pain that cancer causes both physically and emotionally. And we should never have to lose anyone to this deadly disease. So on race day, when you put on your shoes and tie up your laces, remember your why. of cancer care in our local community is so important that the mayor of Tampa is with us as she has been in years past. Thank you, Mayor Castor, for being with us this morning and always as for your continued support. Thank you, Allison. One of the things that makes us the greatest city in the nation is that whenever we have an issue to tackle, we come together and we work together. I know there have been a lot of challenges this year, but the race must go on. And yet again, the Tampa Bay community is rallying around Moffitt Cancer Center. You know, cancer doesn't care who you are. It affects everyone. I lost my sister two years ago to lung cancer, and I know everyone watching this broadcast right now has been affected by this disease. Projections tell us that one million Floridians are expected to receive a cancer diagnosis in the next 10 years. Now more than ever, we need your help. Together, as a community, we can make a big difference in the fight against cancer and make our city proud. Moffitt Cancer Center has saved so many lives and by continuing to be on the forefront of the latest advances in cancer research, more lives will be saved. Your contributions and participation in Miles for Moffitt are helping to save lives. On behalf of the city of Tampa, thank you for being an integral part in the fight against cancer. Thank you, Mayor Castor. Always inspiring and good to see you. Speaking of inspiration today, these next two people spend their days looking for cures to cancer and ways to improve the lives of our patients. How inspiring is that? Allison, I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Susan Vada Parampal and Dr. Eric Lau. Both are Moffitt researchers who have benefited from Miles for Moffitt research funds. These two love Miles for Moffitt and work tirelessly every day taking ideas from the lab and directly impacting our patients' treatment. Take a look. My name is Susan Vada Parampal and I am a researcher in the Health Outcomes and Behavior Program at Moffitt Cancer Center. My name is Eric Lau. I'm an assistant member in the Department of Tumor Biology at Moffitt Cancer Center. First and foremost, our responsibility is to our patients. And so everything that we think about, everything we plan, our vision is centered around how do we improve life for patients. I really think that partnering patients and researchers needs to be what drives and promotes research but it extends to the type of work we do where we think about how do we manage a person's day-to-day -day life? How do we help them plan to be a survivor so that down the road, cancer is a memory and they're living life the way that they had always dreamed and they think about it as a blip in the road and that's why I think Moffitt is such a special place. Moffitt was the only institute that I came across that were willing to take that risk and invest in me and in my research lab and so I think every day is about stepping up. The stress and the, the workload and the long hours and whatever that we're here for a reason. It's really easy to be courageous when you're surrounded by inspiration every day.
Thank you both for your passion and the work that you're doing here at Moffitt and your commitment to improving the lives of all of our patients. If supporting cancer research and finding the cure to cancer is important to you, we would love for you to text the number at the bottom of your screen of any amount. Give any amount you can to support life-saving cancer research at Moffitt. All right, Joshua, I understand we have a very special award to announce at this point. We do. This race is all about moving for what matters and coming together for a great cause. Nothing exemplifies that more than our Spirit of Miles for Moffitt Award. And each year, the Spirit of Miles for Moffitt Award is given to a team that embodies the spirit of courage and compassion through the fundraising efforts and commitment to this event. And this year, the 2020 Spirit of Miles for Moffitt Award goes to Pop Psy Beating the Odds. Congratulations. Over the past three years, PopSci has recruited more than 250 people and fundraised more than $34,000. That's incredible. PopSci is a passionate team made up of Moffitt team members and community members, and their momentum has not slowed down despite the challenges of 2020. Thank you, PopSci, for moving for what matters just as passionately as ever. Next, we'd like to recognize some very special leaders in the Miles for Moffitt community. Every year, we have fundraising teams and Moffitt supporters who put their whole heart fundraising to find the cures to cancer. A huge thank you to our top fundraising teams and individuals for all you are doing to support Moffitt's mission, to contribute to the prevention and cure of cancer. Through your tireless fundraising efforts for Miles for Moffitt, lives are being saved and breakthroughs are being made. We want you to know that every gift, large or small, is appreciated. Just use the tag of number, it's right there at the bottom of your screen, and please consider a gift of any amount. Your gift will directly contribute to the prevention and cure of cancer here at Moffitt. We're moving for what matters. Everybody watching live right now, you ready to get moving, Joshua? Are you ready to get moving? I'm ready, let's get started. So here's what we need each of you to do next. Start moving. Get your arms, get your legs in motion, run that 10K, go take a walk. You can go around the block. You can go out and play with your kids in the yard. Do whatever makes you smile. Then be sure to post it on social media and use the hashtag Miles for Moffitt. You're soon going to see your photos and those of your friends and your family moving for what matters. We can't wait to see those. To send us on our way, we have a message right now from someone very special, H. Lee Moffitt, founder of Moffitt Cancer Center. Thank you, Allison, and thank you to all of you out there who are running and walking and moving for Moffitt Cancer Center today. All of the money that you've raised today is helping our researchers find the cures for cancer. And because of that, you're bringing courage and hope to the thousands of patients and families who come through our doors every year. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support. Thank you, Mr. Moffat. Always so good to see you. All right, now we need you and everybody else to kick us off as we move for what matters. Everybody with me now. Let's count down from five. Are we ready? Five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Now it is time to move for what matters. We hope you have Miles for Moffitt gear ready to go. And don't forget to share all of your photos with us on social media. Be sure to use the hashtag Miles for Moffitt and you could be included in our post event video. Thank you all so much for joining in this today. And have fun as you move for what matters. Bye everybody.